Hello everyone, Curious Corduroy here, and did Norman Reedus accidentally reveal Death Stranding 2? Uh, possibly? <laughs> In a recent interview with Leo, which is a website I'm not familiar with, but I'm assuming it seems to be some kind of lifestyle magazine slash website for men. But in this interview, Norman speaks about his experience working with Hideo Kojima on Death Stranding and how he got the role initially. He then speaks on his first time seeing the game and how long it took to actually work on the project. It took me maybe two or three years to finish all the mocap sessions and everything. It takes a lot of work. And then the game came out and it just won all these awards and it was a huge thing. So we just started part two of that. End of quote. So naturally everyone assumed that Death Stranding 2 was in the works due to Norman's potential flub. Now I'm a fan of Reedus and if you're familiar with him he can be a bit goofy at times, accidentally revealing things early. However, it is possible that this was all just a work between he and Hideo to throw people off about Kojima's next game. Hideo even took to Twitter posting these Walking Dead type photos, one where he's holding Negan's Bat Lucille and the other showing him getting ready to bonk Norman right on the head. Also, based on how the first game ended, a sequel would be a bit odd since the story resolved itself for the most part. It's also been rumored for a while now that Hideo's next game would be a Microsoft project, with Death Stranding being a Sony IP. So it is possible that Norman is just doing Kojima a favor and mentioning Death Stranding 2 to throw people off of what Hideo's next project could actually be. Either way, this was a fun little news story. It's really cool to see the friendship between Hideo and Norman. It's kind of like when a director likes to work with the same set of actors for all of their projects. So whatever Hideo's next project is, I wouldn't be shocked if Norman is a part of it. Our second story comes to us from Reset Era and it's about PS1 classic games. The headline for the thread saying, PS1 games on Asian PSN for $5 to $9 include CRT filter, rewind, optional trophies, scaling, and screenshots. The games listed we've already gone over in previous videos, but they include Ridge Racer 2, Worms Armageddon, Worms World Party, and Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. The games will be available on the PS Plus service, but you'll be able to buy and download them separately for between $4 and $9 if you do not want to join the service. The features include, PS1 games that can have online functionality, although they do make an edit to say that this could be wrong as it seems like the text seems to be a copy paste from the Steam description profile. PSP games are up -rezzed. PS1 games have optional trophies, so I'm assuming maybe first party titles will have trophy functionality and not third party, a variety of scaling methods and different aspect ratios being supported. PS1 and PSP games will support rewind, quick save, and saves can be uploaded online to the cloud. So these features are pretty nice quality of life improvements to have, so here's hoping that Sony really makes an effort to beef up that library of classic games on their service, because that's going to be a huge incentive to get people to join that premium tier, or to even just check out classic games to buy separately. And in our last news story, veteran media reporter Puck is reporting that EA is looking for not only a potential acquisition, but perhaps a merger. They go on to state that EA has had conversations with companies like NBC Universal, Disney, Apple, and Amazon with the talks between NBC Universal going the farthest. So it looks like EA is potentially looking for a pretty big payout with it stating that they prefer to have a merger over a straight up acquisition. So they saw that Microsoft Activision Blizzard money being thrown around and they're like, hey, we want a part of that. So I don't follow EA news too closely. I don't play a lot of EA games, but I wanted to throw this story in at the last part of this video because it's something that we're probably going to be keeping an eye on and it might be a topic that we talk about later on on the podcast. So we'll be keeping an eye on EA to see what could potentially happen and to see if any one of these companies actually decides to pony up the dough and buy or potentially merge with EA. That's the video guys. I am Curious Corduroy. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below on any of these news stories. Are you excited for a new Hideo Kojima game? He's a really creative mind. It would be really cool to see a Death Stranding too, but I'm also really curious to see what else he's got flowing around in his brain that he wants to come to fruition. What are your thoughts on these PS1 classic features and are you hoping for a specific game to make its way to that catalog? Also, what are your thoughts on EA? Do you think they're going to be merged with another company or do you think they're going to be bought flat out? I will see you guys in the next video and please remember to always be excellent to one another.